potential unwind from these current trends. Bro, and their mics out are the not good. In the platforms where you operate. Like, Thank you so much. Jeez, sounds like, I guess it's a call, but. Thank you, Eric. Uh, this is day 10 not to go back to physical purchases because of the conveniences and the advantages of buying digital. Or so because if you buy a freaking disc, it's basically good yeah. for nothing. Some of the demand tailwinds from shelter at home are I'm fucking drive up there to pay our, you uh, for a disc that I have to download for us the game with. As we look forward, is that there's just such a huge opportunity for us. To Remember when you could just put your disc in? As we execute. And you have the game? Today's next question comes from Doug Kruetz with Cowan. Please proceed. Hey, thanks. So we're all waiting with bated breath to hear about what you've got planned for Call of Duty this year. Obviously, this is, this is the, by far the latest you've gone without uh, showing it to your, your audience. How should we think about the marketing campaign you've got prepared for this year's Call of Duty? How do you plan to integrate Warzone into the new Call of Duty? And what are you thinking about for pricing for next-gen games right now? Hey, Doug, it's Rob. Uh, thanks for those questions. Let me uh, try to attack them one by one. I probably want to just start out by saying first that uh, the success of, you know, we saying Warzone and Call of Duty Mobile, in addition to, of course, what we've continued to see on our premium games, has created a ton of new opportunities for the franchise. And so starting with marketing, um, it's definitely had an impact there on how we think about marketing in this new world. Uh, as you've seen from our results, you know, right now we have a larger more engaged and more global audience than we've ever had at any point in time in our history. And that means that we could be more direct and more targeted than we've ever been before. So that's a huge benefit and plus for us as we think about marketing on that vector. Another thing I think that's really important for us as it relates to marketing is from storytelling, from the storytelling perspective, where we can be even more I think, creative and fun and engaging with our fans than ever before. So if you look at Warzone in particular, it's not only like a great game experience, but it's also a great platform, sometimes. platform sometimes. for us to share new franchise news and information directly with our community like we haven't done before. So this is also a big and positive change for us as we think about the business and kind of to your initial point that you're talking about, why is it you know you were waiting for such a long time? We are and we aren't, but it's Warzone, I think, that's caused us to rethink how, when, and even where we reveal our upcoming titles. So um, we can't wait to share it with the community, and we think it's going to be very different and more engaging than anything that we've ever done before. Now, as you heard on the call before, you know, Treyarch and Raven are coming up with the next premium game, and uh, obviously very excited on what they're working on, and, and we do think fans are going to absolutely love it. The game looks incredible right now, and you know, internally people are having a ton of fun playing across its campaign mode as well as the online mode. The developers are very Treyarch and Raven for. confirmed. And so, all I can say in terms of I mean, timing is I suspect you'll be hearing more about this uh, fairly soon. Now, on your question of how we're going to integrate the new title with Warzone, I think that's a good one. It's an important one. And what you should expect is that um, we do a very tight integration between the two. Modern Warfare and Warzone are obviously very tightly connected. I think that's really important for the player, ba player base. And we plan to do the same with all our upcoming titles as well, our premium titles, to ensure that we can reward all of our players and give them fresh new experiences, regardless of whether they choose to just play in Warzone or also play in the premium game as well. So the connection will absolutely be there. And then finally, I think on your last question was in regards to next-gen pricing. Everything so confirmed, we already know. We'll be sharing our plan soon, so you know, I'm not gonna share anything today. For now, we're just very excited for the launch of the new generation of hardware. We think it represents another uh, strong leap forward in creating, you know, really incredible entertainment and value for our fans as we look forward. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, so we already knew most question, of this. Uh, the next question comes from oh, Alex Giamma. So we already know they're going to integrate the next cloud into Warzone. We already know that they're going to reveal a lot in Warzone with the Easter eggs and stuff coming. We don't know how we kind of do with live events and stuff like that. Uh, we're still fishing here though in this call for something new. Uh, so far, we're basically getting uh, real confirmations of stuff we already know. All right, so real confirmation of Treyarch and Raven um, developing the next COD. Uh, 
real confirmation that they're going to integrate the reveal and stuff in the war zone. So we still, you know, fishing for something new, something new, new stuff. So, yeah, I'm here sitting through the boring stuff. Give you all some quick jump cuts. Thank you for taking the question. Um, Can you describe the trends you've seen in You're the welcome. advertising business since the last call? Help us understand the drivers and what's the operation. So all of this is allowing to attract, allowing us to attract uh, new brand advertisers into the ecosystem. And uh, over the past few months, we had a number of these, which spanned a number of sectors. And these names, you know, span something like from Samsung to Briars to ABC to Sargento to Home. Folks! Uh, and we continue to there it is. use our direct sales force to reach out to more. Well, you can provide on how sustainable that performance is going forward. And secondly, with the Activision segment reaching its record operating margins this quarter, are most profits of COD Mobile in particular still being invested back into growth, as you guys stated previously, or are some flowing down to the bottom line now? Marriott, what the uh, fuck do got people got to put porn? Um, why do people got to put porn, bro, on Twitter, all over Twitter? We're, we're very sure President says game looks components. incredible. Hold on. Overall, the game is President says the game looks incredible, has got a lot of excitement internally and campaign plays through and online mode. Playthroughs, my fault. That the teams at Treyarch and Raven are cooking up. Reveal is fairly soon, but declines when declines to say when. Bro, they better like give us some heat, like like throw it in there, Easter eggs, whatever they finna do, bro. Because if uh, I guess they trying to surprise us, I I don't know, bro as we look forward even more tightly integrating mobile into the overall call of duty ecosystem to bring our community together closer and having more fun and you know i'd just like to close by and we've mentioned this before i think but it, it is important you know call of duty right now through the success of our premium titles in warzone and mobile is larger and more global than it's ever been at any point in time in its history and I just want to say thanks to all of our teams who have just done an incredible job across the board. And, of course, we are super thankful to our incredible community uh, for their continued trust and support for what we're doing on Call of Duty. Thanks for the question. Yeah, thanks, Mario. Operator, can we have the next question, please? The next question comes from Brian Nowak with Morgan Stanley. Please proceed. Thanks for taking my question. I um, wanted to sort of bring together the, the two segments. Curious about learnings you've had from Call of Duty, Warzone, and Mobile that you think could be applicable to, to Diablo or other franchises, just to sort of help us help us think about some of the, the growth drivers for Diablo or other franchises in 21 and 22 they may have learned from Call of Duty. Thanks. I'll take that. This is Daniel. And, uh, Brian, thank you. Thank you for the question. Um, you know, as you just heard from Rob, uh, we are really bringing that – community and that experience together across platforms and across experiences. And firstly, I'd, I'd say we're really just not done with Call of Duty. We're, we're in, the, in the first inning. Uh, you know, we've only been five months in since the life of a war zone, and the team is working really, really hard to integrate that with our next premium release so we can Let's really maximize mode. the potential of this powerful combination of both so we can premium play that later and free to play uh, content five, I don't know if it's and in, it's we'll still see. early and expanding the I audience on PC as well which offers as you know a very significant potential yesterday. for future growth when you consider the size of the player base and particularly including the fact that we are now uh, having access to uh, players all around the world you know and, and expanding it so uh, PC obviously is, is more accessible um, and then as Rob was mentioning, there's a lot more to come on mobile too. If you don't have so the full mobile game, is off to a really great there start. You go. But we're just scratching the surface of what that franchise can be on mobile, and then integrating the experiences across multiple platforms. We know is just a, yeah. an incredible opportunity for uh, for the franchise. But to the early success, they do pray, pray represent incredible proof points as as to your question uh, of the of how the franchise strategy is really working. And it 
certainly applies to a, a, a lot of other franchises that we have. We see that our current players really want more ways to engage with their favorite IP, be it through mobile or other platforms, and that offering authentic and really deep experiences on new platforms can, can drive much, much higher engagement. And uh, this quarter, quarter's results really shows that. And we also see that the free-to-play on mobile and other platforms can bring in multiples of new, new players into our franchises. All right, they talking about Diablo and stuff. We're going to give you a jump cut. Crash Bandicoot, bro. Can you talk about this strategy a little bit? And how I'm out, bro. Y'all can have it. Going forward, especially uh, as it pertains to the Activision Blizzard catalog. Thank you. It's like, nah. Hey, that I already know it's boring. Um, That's what I'm here for. You know, Chop it up for you. Our... I have to do it. I, I have to do what you guys told us to do. And it's getting it because of um, the Stop hacking, guys. Company. God is so fucked up with hackers, bro. Thank you very much for everyone for joining us today and for your participation and interest. Uh, we look forward to speaking with many of you this quarter, throughout the quarter, and uh, hopefully we'll see many of you in game. Thank you. That's it. I know that's not it, bro. Just... So there's Treyarch and Raven software. They're gonna reveal the game in new ways. Crossplay coming. We got the developers officially. Uh, you know, which is new. Uh, officially, we got Treyarch at Raven Software, Warzone returning, obviously. Uh, they're gonna reveal it in new ways, obviously, we knew that. They're gonna reveal it in Warzone, um, you know, online, unofficial, kinda like, you know, building hype through social media, things like that. Having the community right there engaged in it. Um, <clears throat> which is cool, bro, it's cool. It's just weird. If people aren't paying attention, then it doesn't really do much. Okay, guys. Uh, actually, this is something new we just uh, got. We just noticed. Um, okay, you see this here? Um, obviously, we know we got all the confirmations we need for Treyarch, right? This here, um, this is the season five picture, August 5th, which is tomorrow. So... We got everything in here that comes with season five, right? New operators, weapons, updates, modes, maps, new weapons, right? And more. What is this right here? And more, right? Oh yeah, it's a reach. Call it a reach, right? What is this though? What is this? Okay, what like what else could this be? I mean, you could call it a reach, but just look at this for a second, ready? Guys, 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 all right, guys, okay, call it a reach, bro, but look, okay, so that means this, okay, look, just hear me out, if this, okay, this, look at it, if this, bro, If this is this, which I mean, look, if this is this, which what else, what else would this be? That means tomorrow, right? We should be able to, to hit this, all right? They've never used this before, so we should be able to get whatever this is in the Warzone new season. You get what I'm saying? If this is this, that's what we're getting. Okay? Something. That's all I'm saying. That's just in. I can't find the exact tweet that but pointed it out. I can't I can't find the exact tweet, but uh I found it on this stream and I found it on Twitter. That's just wild. Charlie Intel just tweeted, in case you were holding out uh, hope. In the industry insiders have stated Call of Duty 2020 will not be shown during this week's PlayStation State of Play. So it won't be in this event, just like everybody thought. 
I think they just want everybody at one time on Warzone. They want to blow the fucking servers up. They want everybody on at one t- at, at, at at one time on Warzone so we could all see it all at one time. They I think that's what they're going for. They want that shit blowing up on there. They did not announce the next gen prices either. They said they refused uh to announce that today. Uh 2020 Reveal, they also did not uh, announce a reveal date. I'm still expecting it for tomorrow uh, based on those images. Uh, And they did not uh, announce any release date. But they did say later this year, obviously. But if you guys did like this video and you like stuff like this, definitely drop a like down below. Comment down below. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, I know I've been posting in a long time, but you know... uh, 2020 um let me know if you want more like this because i like doing this type of stuff i want to do as much as i can up until the next cod um keep you guys up to date with all the info all the you know warzone info things like that on top of my other regular videos so let me know if you guys like this stuff please let me know seriously please let me know for real because i'll do it um you know what i'm saying just let me know Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Make sure you drop, uh, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell for uh, post notifications. I'll see you in the next video. Be easy.